Brian from Meus Energy and just showing our product line here after the fire. Excellent. Mama. What are we looking at? Meus uh, specializes in mobile, rapidly deployable uh, energy. Um, it has a history of coming out of disaster relief and emergency response. Uh, we are also now expanding into other markets. Think uh, anybody that needs temporary power, uh, mobile, um, advanced film, uh, construction, and uh, you know, um, we also are doing uh, some medical, medical like clinics, things like that. Uh, we have uh, people that are putting our products into very uh, troubled areas like Ukraine, where again uh, having locally available power. All of our products are designed from a solar first perspective, meaning that uh, they're designed to be recharged uh, using solar, and we also build and provide uh, these flexible solar panels which don't have glass or sharp edges. Again, mobile is the key, uh, but they can also be recharged from any solar panel that you have access to. We don't have proprietary connectors, so you, if you have access to other solar locally, you can use those. And all of our products can be recharged from what we call solar power, which is the grid source as well. So. Our product line is designed ultimately to replace uh, fuel generators, if you think of Honda generators, ranging from 1 kilowatt to 30 kilowatts. 30 kilowatts would be something that, like our trailer, which has uh, extensive solar built in, lots of battery for storage capacity. Think battery is kind of your fuel tank. Uh, the more battery you have, the more fuel you have to uh, run your uh, power devices until you have to recharge them. Solar, think of that as the refueling that is going on, and so the more solar you have, the longer you can go before you would run out of power. And then uh, internally, we uh, put in um, units that both handle the charging of the batteries, and then ultimately how you would use it, 120 volt, 230 volt, how many circuits. We have uh, the same way you have your household, and you have so number of circuits. So depending on uh, your needs, uh, each of our products uh, expands further and further in time much it supports. Start with the uh, our smallest unit. This is roughly one kilowatt of storage. It's ideal for uh, very light medical device use, office use. Um, as you can see, it's also very portable uh, and uh, um, can be pretty much placed anywhere. In emergency responders, uh, we find this is the most popular unit for uh, cell phone recharging, iPads, um, communication recharging. Uh, very easy to handle, very easy to distribute. Next step up, this is a two and a half kilowatt hour uh, battery component. All of our products have built in inverters, meaning it takes the DC out of the battery and converts it to AC, which is what most people are used to using. You just plug in your AC device. Um, and you can see right now this one's actually being recharged with um, one of our panels. This is the smallest one in the industry called a tripod. Three of them. Five. Each one of those is a, a 70 watt uh, power. So right now there's 210 watts of power going back into that system um, to recharge it. But we make them as large as the six. Uh, and then once we get into the more current devices, those panels actually produce even more power. That trailer produces 1,200 watts, and we're working on a prototype that will be 2,000 watts. So the 2,000 watts, you now can have multiple household circuit levels. Um, on the trailer as well, think of this more as a mobile uh, base, a power base. You take it and then it becomes the center where you can use it not just to power directly um, on a continuous basis, but you can also recharge the smaller units that you disperse throughout the event. So if you were going into a community that was uh, 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 reacting to an emergency event, you could use this as sort of the community center of the base, recharge and then distribute those types of devices for uh, use by households. Uh, that had the need or for your emergency responders for them to continue to be able to work on their laptops and recharge their cell phones. Uh, and then they would just bring it back in exchange for fully charged cell phones. We, if you think of this as the refueling, we also build our trailers so that you can add additional refueling. So these allow you to triple the amount of solar coming in to the, to the trailer. So depending on your needs, 
we can go all the way up, as I said, to about 30 uh, kilowatts of load uh, before it makes more sense for you to uh, look at uh, more traditional sort of diesel power generators. So if you think of a, a community center, if you have a kitchen, uh, the kitchen part is probably going to be a load that's, that would be, this would not make, make sense. But if you are just running uh, computers, monitors, uh, window air conditioners, things that run on 120 volt, um, and uh, out in, like I said, out in the community, um, uh, light medical devices at home, cell phones, things like that, um, we are ideal for replacing uh, fuel powered uh, uh, generators and giving you uh, flexibility that even the fuel powered generators don't because, as you might know, if you have emergency, getting access to fuel once your tank is initially empty, it's really hard and uh, a lot of times they won't start. If you haven't run them every month to make sure that they're going to work and now you need them, you pull the, pull the cord. Now Honda makes a great product, they're really reliable, but still they're, they're mechanical and they can break down. The solar, as long as it's, it's charged, it's going to work. There's really no maintenance. Just keep the panels clean. Uh, and uh, with the technology we have now with the batteries, uh, they go uh, four to five thousand cycles, recharge cycles, which means they're roughly ten years in between uh, needing to maintain them. In the, in the beginnings of uh, solar, people use lead acid technology, lead acid batteries needed to be exchanged about every three to four years. Um, these lithium, uh, lithium batteries, they have more energy density and they last for uh, two, three times uh, the length. So it's finally gotten to where the technology allows us to very confidently replace uh, the, uh, the fuel-based and the lead-acid-based technology and uh, hopefully at some point we'll be able to go up higher into the, the chain. But today it doesn't make financial sense for around the, around the 30. Uh, the other thing to keep in note is uh, the recent Inflation Adjustment Act, if you're a U.S. taxpayer, uh, extended the 30% uh, investment tax credit which most of these products are now eligible for. If you are a non-profit or a municipality, a government agency, somebody who hasn't yet, doesn't pay tax, uh, you are now actually eligible for a 30% rebate check from the Treasury as well. So, whereas before, you, uh, non, uh, non-profits could participate in federal financing, co-financing of this, uh, these products are now uh, eligible for that starting in 2023. So, um, and if you are responsible for a community or a state and you want to build in resilience, uh, you will now have some cost sharing available to you from the uh, federal government based on the new uh, resources. Of course, there's always other uh, grants and developments. Those are sometimes uh, easy to find, sometimes hard to find. Um, the new investment tax credit and the uh, direct payment mechanism for nonprofits uh, opens up a maybe a more simple, straightforward way to get some uh, co financing. Very cool. Thank you so much. And real quick, name of the company and how people find you. Uh, we are New Use Energy Solutions, www.newuseenergy.com. Uh, we are based out of Tempe, Arizona. Uh, we also have an R&D office up in Anacortes, Washington. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome.